<clears throat> Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Uh, we are celebrating the 17th Sunday in the ordinary time. And again, the Lord gives us this word that is beautiful and very rich, um, especially again the gospel. This gospel is the continuation of the gospel of last Sunday, uh, where Christ he meets these people, which is the image of you and I. And at the same time, Christ, he is forming his disciples. Um, and there is this moment where Christ, he sees all these people in need. Um, and they're in need of food. They're in need of, they're hungry. And he asks Philip. Uh, he, wants to, he wants to help Philip to interiorize himself. Um, and he tells Philip to go and feed these people. Jesus puts something that humanly speaking in front of of Philip is impossible to feed 5,000 people. How is that possible? So, and he asks Philip, where, where do we get food for all these people? This question is very important for all of us because when Christ asks this question to Philip, where, he doesn't ask how we're going to feed. He says, where? It's a place, <clears throat> which is also a state, let's say. Um, by doing that, by asking that question, he makes Philip, he makes Philip enter into his reality. He redimensions, if you want, Philip. And then Philip, he, he's brought to his reality. And what does he do? Philip, he looks at himself. And what does he see? Nothing. Right? Which is the image of the two fishes and, and the five loaves. But Lord, we have nothing. He looks at himself. He looks at his humanity, and he sees that it's impossible. But not only that, because what is the first thing that Phillips, that Phillips thinks? Because when he looks at himself, he sees nothing. He thinks about money. Okay? Uh, Lord, it would take 200, not even 200 in areas would, would, would be able to buy food for these people, right? So he looks at him, uh, his heart, and then what, what heart does he see? He sees a heart that is, yeah, that is faithless, that is a heart that you know, is attached to money, a heart that is proud because he, he thinks it's about himself. Because if Philip really had faith right there, as Christ asked him where, Philip would have said, in you, Lord, in you. Because you are the source of all life. You are the source of everything, what the psalm says. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do they build his work. And in you, Lord, you can do the miracle. It's not me. So, but even so, Christ, he says, okay, bring me your nothingness. Bring me these two fish and these five loaves. And he makes the multiplication, right? He makes the miracle. Um, and then at the end of the gospel, at the end of the gospel is beautiful. This, this gospel once made me cry because I see that in, in the midst of our poverty, you know, even though we are, po we, we, are, we are poor, even though we have no faith, even though, you know, we are attached to money, we think everything depends on us. At the end, 12 baskets are left over, 12 baskets full. How many disciples are there? 12. It's beautiful to see here the tremendous mercy of God that even, even in our poverty at the end, He makes, He multiplies everything. He makes the miracle. And at the end, there's this basket full for us, for each one of us, which is the image of mercy of God, of His generosity as well. You know, courage, brothers. This is a beautiful gospel because how many times do we have in front of us 5,000 people to feed? Or in other words, something possible. Me as a priest, how many times God asked me to feed 5,000 people, uh, which is impossible, you know, uh, to love, to give our lives, to serve, you know, perhaps at home, to love this Father for you today. is like 5,000 men that you have to feed, which is humanly impossible, to be chaste, you know, to forgive your mother, to forgive your father, to deal with, I don't know, knowing your vocation, your doubts, or your life itself. It's almost like waking up and you have 5,000 people for you to feed. It's impossible. What do we do? God needs you, who you are, with your character, with your sins, who you are, your nothingness, your poverty. Once you give that to Christ, He makes the miracle.
So let us bring our nothingness to him. Even me as a priest, it helps me a lot to see that it's not about my strength, my knowledge, my know, my holiness, or you know, how much I pray you know, to some extent. But at the end, it's for me to be with Christ, to give my nothingness every day to him. And then he makes the miracle and he feeds 5,000 people with my nothingness. I'm so courage, very good. So happy Sunday to everybody, and may God bless you all.